ਆ ਕੋਈ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਾਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਲਾਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਸੀਗੇ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਰਣਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ ਕਿ ਮੈਰਾਥਨ ਸਿੰਘ ਕੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਨੇ ਵਿਦ ਸੋ ਇਨਸਪੀਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਕਿ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਸੱਤ ਕੰਟੀਨੈਂਟ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੈਰਾਥਨ ਕੀਤੀ ਸੀਗੀ ਯੂ نو ਦੀਸ ਕਾਈਂਡ ਆਫ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਮੈਂ ਚਾਹਨਾ ਕਿ ਆਪਣੇ ਯੰਗਸਟਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਟੀਵੀ ਦੇਖਦੇ ਨੇ ਇਨਸਪਾਇਰ ਹੋ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਕਾਲ ਕਰੋ ਇਨ ਕੇਸ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਫੁੱਟਸਟੈਪ ਫੋਲੋ ਕਰਨੇ ਨੇ ਐਂਡ ਵੁੱਡ ਬੀ ਨਾਈਸ ਟੂ ਸੀ ਦ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਕਮਿੰਗ ਫੋਰਵਰਡ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਐਕਸਟਰਾ ਆਰਡਨਰੀ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦਾ ਨਾਮ ਰੋਸ਼ਨ ਕਰ ਸਕੀਏ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਸਿਲਸਲੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਫੇਰ ਇੰਟਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਗੈਸਟ ਜਾਨੀ ਪਛਾਨੀ ਹਸਤੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਵੀ ਮੇਰੇ ਚੈਨਲ ਆ ਦੇਖ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਮੈਂ ਨਾ ਗੈਸਟ ਆ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਨੇ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਿਟਰਮਿਨਡ ਮੈਨ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਗਾਈ ਸਟਰੋਂਗ ਇਨ ਅ ਸੈਂਸ ਨੋ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਹੋਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਉਹ ਵੀ ਹੋਣ ਗਏ ਪਰ ਯੂ نو ਦ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਇਨ ਹਿਸ ਲਾਈਫ ਐਂਡ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਂਗ ਟੂ ਹੈਲਪ ਨਾਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਦ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਬਟ ਦ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਸਮਥਿੰਗ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਦ 에어ਪੋਰਟ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਥੋੜਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਗੈਸਟ ਕਰ ਲੈਤਾ ਹੋਣਾ ਆਈ ਹੈਵ ਵਿਦ ਮੀ ਹੈ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਪਰਮਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਦਾਂਦਾ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਦ ਐਗਜ਼ੀਕਟਿਵ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਟਰ ਫੋਰ ਦ ਬੈਕ ਹੀਥਰੋ ਐਕਸਪੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਪਾਜੀ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਯੂ ਔਨ ਦ ਸ਼ੋ ਫਸਟਲੀ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਵੈਰੀ ਮਚ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪਾਜੀ ਬਹੁਤ ਐਫਰਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਅਰਾਊਂਡ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਦ ਬੈਕ ਹੀਥਰੋ ਐਕਸਪੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਵੈਰੀ ਹਾਰਡ ਵਰਕ ਆਈ ਨੋ ਬਿਕੋਜ਼ ਆਈ ਹਵ ਬੀਨ ਫਾਲੋਇੰਗ ਯੂ ਸਿੰਸ ਯੂ ਯੂ نو ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਲਾਈਕ 5 ਇਅਰਸ ਗੋ ਵਾਸ ਇਟ ਦ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਸਟਾਰਟ 5 ਇਅਰਸ ਗੋ ਹਾ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਹਾਰਡ ਫਾਈਟ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਫਿਜ਼ੀਕਲ ਫਾਈਟ ਬਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਅ ਮੈਂਟਲ ਫਾਈਟ ਯੈਸ ਐਂਡ ਟੈਲ ਮੀ ਦ ਲੇਟੈਸਟ ਵੇਅਰ ਆਰ ਯੂ ਟੂਡੇ ਵੈਲ ਯੂ ਰਾਈਟ ਸਟਾਰਟਡ ਦ ਬੈਕ ਹੀਥਰੋ ਬਿਗਨ 5 ਇਅਰਸ ਗੋ 5 ਇਅਰਸ ਗੋ um and in that time we built up 100000 supporters jada the lage rende here in west london uh, southall hayes hounslow but further afield as well in the thames valley or tebi both job here people who work at the airport and at the locally at the airport the lage 77000 job or there within i get that right 76000 people work within the perimeter of the airport can you believe that Now, Basically, some, all the yeah. surrounding areas, one or two people in the family work for the airport, really. That's right. In the local boroughs, in the local boroughs, about one in every five workers is at the airport. At the airport. That's going to increase because with the expansion project, with the new runway, 77,000 new local jobs will be created. Um, there's not many jobs in your life. I've been very, very lucky, as you say. I've been many things. I've been a member of parliament. I've been a government minister in my life. but you can't even in jobs like those create 180,000 jobs for the country in a big project it is that's obviously that's what this project will do but you know you um, obviously i'm going to ask you questions like this is this is a direct question from people who would want mm-hmm. to know um i could see there's a benefit like you mentioned about the jobs prosperity and the economy of the country uh, which is a lot of plus point uh, but then you see the other thing negative points as well because uh we'll come to it i think shall we watch the clip first and then we can yes, talk let's about watch it? a clip that'd be yeah, great alaska so they are going to see the thing and i live in ikalum only a few miles from heathrow airport we know so many people who work and live around the airport and we all recognize its importance for our communities we all rely on heathrow for any number of reasons one being it's the only airport that services the west of london and is synonymous the world over as the hub of the UK we need heathrow we support heathrow and we vote for heathrow i'm james swindlehurst i'm the leader of slowborough council my council backs heathrow's expansion uh, as a really important infrastructure project for the whole uk but with huge benefits to the area of west london and slough particularly we're uh, the host uh, to a large part of the new third runway and and the developments around the airport and we still welcome this scheme as the many local councillors around west london uh, and across the country uh, well up into the west wales and along the m4 corridor heathrow's expansion is important not least because it's long overdue but we need the jobs prosperity and extra opportunities for our area and beyond that the expansion of Heathrow will bring. I'm councillor Helen Magnani and I've been a supporter of Heathrow Airport for a very very long time. It's our gateway to the rest of the world. The Federation for Small Businesses, Trade Unions and the Confederation of British Industries have been calling for Heathrow expansion for decades. Heathrow is the UK's biggest port for cargo and freight, but it's at 98% capacity. Let's support industry, let's support trade and let's support local jobs by voting for Heathrow. Hi, I'm Paul. I live in Stockwell. The whole reason that I support Heathrow is not just because it's uh, an investment for the country now in an u
but actually it's an investment for the future and it's an investment for people like me who are looking for jobs now. It's an investment for the kids who are in colleges who are studying to become pilots, airport managers and work in any number of services and businesses that supply a massive airport like Heathrow. We're building this as an investment for future generations and for the Lovely. Uh, just, you know, you made um, a statement earlier, uh, unfortunately it was not in the clip there. Um, you say when you say it's a clean, uh, clean way and green way to, to move forward. Explain yeah. what you exactly mean yeah. by clean and green yeah. way. Um, the, air, the aircraft have changed a lot mm. over the years. If you go back 30, 40 years and you grew up in this area, and many people who are watching are probably from this part of the world, um, you would see an aeroplane go over your house and you could hear it and you could feel the ground shake. The, the vibration, you yes. You could feel so. the vibrations. But because technology has moved on so much, the aircraft now are cleaner and quieter than they used to be. Um, but more needs to be done. It, you're quite right. The points that you raise, it's not just about jobs. Jobs are important. 187 billion pounds for our economy to grow the number of opportunities and jobs that we have. That's important. But it's also important to make sure that people's sleep isn't disturbed, that people aren't too affected by noise. And also our, our air quality matters as well. So as well as fighting for the new runway, we've also been fighting to make sure that these plans are the best plans, that we have more public transport, so there are less people going to the airport in their cars, that um, there are tariffs on the older aeroplanes, the more polluting aeroplanes, the noisy aeroplanes, so less of them will be flying. So a number of measures like this really make this a much, much better project than we had in the past. So it can be a, a bigger airport, but also a cleaner and a greener one. What was your ratio uh, in terms of people wanted to and didn't want to have it? Like either way was it a question here actually because you thought she especially variety I think I'm going to guess again what's the next stage what's the next big challenge exactly sub to body challenge to keep parliament to the bench parliament parliament the parliament the vote mm -hmm. on June the 25th we had the vote just last month we waited since the second world war to have that vote in parliament on building a new runway no runways have been built uh, in London or the South East since the Second World War. Um, majority, have a guess how big the majority was for it? <laughs> Nearly 300. Really? 296 vote majority. Government has a call majority, Haney, at the moment. You know, Theresa May has no majority. Um, but the majority of, of Labour MPs supported this. 119 voted for it, 93 voted against it. Yeah. Uh, nearly all of the Conservative MPs, less than 10, voted against it. Uh, and other political parties like the DUP supported it as well. And that it was it was a huge thing. So we have a, now we have a democracy has spoken. There is a strong mandate now for in Parliament our elected representatives. And that it, so the local voice, our local MP, the local bande, local dunia, local jinania, Sima Balhotra, in Hounslow. She voted in support of this. Varinder Sharma, he voted in support of this in Ealing, in Ealing North. Steve Pound voted in support of this. Conservatives locally in Spelthorne. Even I've seen in the clip to the local coffee borrows again, a council general for the sport kit. A lot of councils. A lot of them. I'm going to look at Dr. Damaki, Paji, we're so proud, so honored to have him here tonight. I don't know if I'm going to try to speak Punjabi, but I'm going to speak a lot of English, so you can understand it. ਇਹ ਫਾਈਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਨੇ ਪੰਜ ਸਾਲਾਂ ਤੋਂ ਕਿ ਹਿਥਰੋ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਨਵੇ ਨਵੀਂ ਬਣਨੀ ਚਾਹੀਦੀ ਹੈ ਇਨਫੈਕਟ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਦੇ ਸੈਕਿੰਡ ਵਰਲਡ ਵਾਰ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਕਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਅੰਦਰ ਦੀ ਐਕਸਪੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਸਪੈਕਟਰੀ ਸਾਥ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਗਲੈਂਡ ਕੋਈ ਅੰਦਰ ਦੀ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੋਈ ਤੇ ਇਹ ਬੜਾ ਅੰਦਰ ਦਾ ਵੱਡਾ ਕੰਮ ਸੀਗਾ ਬੜੀ ਅੰਦਰ ਨੇ ਫਾਈਟ ਕੀਤੀ ਹੈ ਉਹ ਨਤੀਜੇ ਤੇ ਪਹੁੰਚੇ ਨੇ ਸੋਨਾ ਕੋਲੀ ਪੁੱਛਾਂਗੇ ਕਿ ਕੀ ਹੋ ਰਿਹਾ ਇਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਅਗਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਚਾਹੁੰਦੇ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕਾਲ ਕਰ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਤੇ 0208 5714279 ਤੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਾਲ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਲ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਪ੍ਰਮਜੀਤ ਨਾਲ ਜਨ ਪੁੱਛ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਯੂ نو ਹੁਣ ਮੇਰਾ ਇੱਕ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਹੈਗਾ ਯੂ ਸੇ देयर ਬੀ 77000 ਜੌਬਸ ਯੂ ਜੌਬਸ ਕ੍ਰੀਏਟਿਡ ਐਂਡ ਬਟ 180000 ਅਕਰੋਸ ਦਾ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਐਂਡ ਬਟ 10000 ਅਪ੍ਰੈਂਟਿਸਿਸ ਅਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਓਨਲੀ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਅਸੀਂ ਸਿਰਫ ਰਨਵੇ ਬਣਾ ਰਹੇ ਬਟ ਨਾਟ ਐਕਸਪੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਦੀ 에어ਪੋਰਟ ਐਸ ਯੈਟ they with the expansion with the extra load coming and i believe it was estimated there'll be 45 million extra passengers there coming be, in there will yeah. be a lot more passengers a lot yes. more passengers the capacity overall is How, think, yeah. do we have a capacity to control all this the airport ba yeah yeah 
ਤਾਂ ਕਰਕੇ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਟ੍ਰੇਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪਬਲਿਕ ਟਰਾਂਸਪੋਰਟ ਜਿਆਦਾ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਹੈ ਹੁਣ ਹਨਾ ਵੀ ਕਾਨਟ ਹੈਵ ਪੀਪਲ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਇਨ ਔਨ ਦ ਰੋਡਸ ਇਨ ਕਾਰਸ ਸੋ ਵੀ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਅਕਰੋਸ ਲੰਡਨ ਵੀ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਦ ਕਰੋਸ ਰੇਲ ਕਰੋਸ ਰੇਲ ਯੈਸ ਕਰੋਸ ਰੇਲ ਇਜ਼ ਵੈਰੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ HS2 will help as well because there's a link to Old Oak Common north of Heathrow and there's also going to be new links from the west of England so that MP in Slough uh, uh, Dunmanjit uh-huh. Desi's been campaigning very hard very well for stronger rail links from Slough but also beyond Slough Reading Lee like all the way out to to Wales and Cornwall mm-hmm. so with these new rail networks that are coming and we also need better rail networks from the south of London as well that will help a lot but um we also need to look at other things like um at the moment there's a lot of um um big trucks coming in with freight too many of them really mm-hmm. sometimes um they're not full you know half full less so they're going to have these special centers where they're going to actually fill the trucks outside of the area so there's less trucks going in but 100% full so these kinds of measures can make a difference ਪਰ ਹੁਣ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਹੁਣ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਮਾਡਰਨ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਡੀਜ਼ਲ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਥੋਰ ਹੁਣ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਗੱਡੀਆਂ ਹੋਣੇ ਆ ਸੋ ਜਿਹੜੀ 에어ਪੋਰਟ ਦੇ ਬੈਚ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਆਚੀ ਚੇਂਜਿੰਗ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਕਾਰਸ ਦੇ ਐਂਡ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਫਾਰ ਮੋਰ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰਿਕ ਵਹੀਕਲਸ ਆਚੀ ਐਟ ਦੀ 에어ਪੋਰਟ ਐਸ ਵੈਲ ਸੋ ਥੀਸ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਵਿਲ ਮੇਕ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਸ ਇਨ ਟਰਮਸ ਆਫ ਬਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਇਟਸ ਵੈਰੀ ਡਿਪੈਂਡੈਂਟ ਕਿ as i said it's only a runway expansion not the airport expansion and i can see the congestion i can see there a lot of chaos a lot of uh, improvement got be bought in with the uh, cross rail and other bits and pieces how many people really want to use the cross rail the people like uh, you know with with good jobs they could they want to travel by car they probably get a chauffeur driven car why does he want to travel by train you have to remember uh, uh, that so many of these jobs you had uh, the man on earlier on from slough the leader of slough james leader on slough. the video one in three people in slough don't all work in the airport but work in related industries as exactly well. so it could be catering it could be hotel jobs uh it could be a whole range of other jobs that depend on the airport as well there are a lot of suppliers of various lots of yeah. suppliers mm-hmm. so as well as people actually working on the site as well so there's a huge growth and also you're right the 180,000 jobs they're not all local because of the benefit of uh, to other regional airports who are going to have more flights able to come to Heathrow uh, and they need, we need this what we call a hub airport to make the long distance flights especially with brexit happening if we want to trade with india if we want to train with australia uh, south uh, in china or south america you need to have a strong hub airport where you can have those long distance flights and he throw is that airport it's now our biggest it's actually our biggest port in the country by that this is exactly what I wanted to say to you because the london heathrow airport is the biggest world hub to connecting the rest of the world and uh, but hon in nobody ne the problem there eh? the problem that eh hon jeri sadi trade utho jandi hai some of it is starting to slip away paris is starting to catch up Frankfurt Merkel Panjran Rail te um uh, Madrid Airport is a big one uh Schiphol in Amsterdam what they which are Panjran Rail so they call Doya te taka ke capacity full ya 98% full as the lady was saying this is i'm glad you said that you hit the nail maybe same question was on the push there said the capacity uh, is limited 98% uh with the extra runway it's only going to increase the departures of the landings of the and plane yeah. and extra passengers coming in extra cargo coming in yeah. but if with the within the airport building we we don't have enough room to handle all that do we really when you building a new uh, runways which going to be uh you said in autumn in 2019 is that right 2026 it should be built by 2026 it should be built by yes yeah but starting in the 2019 in autumn i believe yeah well there's a there's a lot of lot to happen there's going to be a consult confess consult the kanni pani uh, it has to be the right program fair planning application we can here planning application 2019 chonia towards the end of 2019 consultation to baad fair us to baad we nami consultation we honi pani yeah as country the batch is done you just share thing hun it's a, it's a long process but important gal mere the secretary state we dekhna pana fir wo programs do do ten do ten saal lagne hale 
It was debatable, Sega, but a strong opposition, Sigi, that the, the runway should be built, the whole Heathrow should be moved away uh, towards like maybe Kent or Gatwick. Mm -hmm. and well, Boris that, Island, that was the other one, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly. The Thames Estuary, uh -huh. Boris Johnson wanted. Yeah, uh, think about that. Think uh, about yeah. that. If we did that, can uh -huh. you imagine, though, Baal, gee, if can you imagine what that would do to all of our people who work here? All of those I, I can see that. And Jenny said, UK, the economy, how mm. it would fail. Mm. At the moment, uh, 230 of the 300 biggest businesses in the UK can go to Heathrow and they're within 15 miles of where they want to travel to. You lose all the trade, you lose all of these businesses that are built up in Slough, in Uxbridge, in Hounslow. They've only really cool. built up there because they want to move their freight, their cargo around the world. Can we take a call? Hello? Hello? Hello, Hello. 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 It's all set up by the people who are VIP and demo, diplomacy. Oh, and they want to come into the country without any check-up. Oh, yes, all of us are in the world without security check, custom check, and they come in and go out like animals. It's all wrong. And so it's not that we should have our own custom, own security, and Sarah Pasi all around, not just a heat through or Sarah Epoch, it could have a security high in it. There are many places to land and to take off. There are there's nothing in Ireland, we have a border check, or compose officer, or the head, 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 headquarters abroad, mm -hmm. somewhere else, it's not online. Or Sarah, the VAT, any custom taxi, no one pays them. So, 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 it's a method land. So, but you see Tony, Tony ruling to see you, can I Hello? I think it's good, kind of. Did you quite get that? It wasn't the best line, but I think he was saying, you need to have the support structure around it, security and all the rest of it. I think that's what his main point was, wasn't he? And he's right, but that explains the point you were making. Did a job on there? They've got to be long term. They've got to be whether it's security, uh, whether it's people who are serving you your food, they're getting you onto the planes, the engineers for the flights, the airline staff, everybody su supporting all of that structure. Um, he's right. You, it's 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 a lot of investment. Um, this, this is the world's biggest privately funded infrastructure project. But then again, you know, to the old speech we had, I think the councillor, uh, no, the other guest was saying it actually. Uh, it's an investment for, for the younger generation coming up, you know. Uh, maybe it might help them. Would you agree on that point? I would, because part of the plan is to have 10,000 new apprenticeships mm -hmm. as well. And I do a lot of visits around the area, area, all the communities, all the boroughs around the airport. And jodo ma godwara nu janda pehli cheez jo menu kende ya job chahiye sir no particularly sir niyane ali job quality job chahiye that's why they support it because I don't know but I on the message is getting out when I was young going up in the 1980s in Hayes youth unemployment you come out of school and getting a job is a real challenge or kasiga is very very hard to find a job but with this project. 10,000 apprenticeships, it has the possibility of ending unemployment for young people in this area completely. And that's something I think we should be very, very proud of. You know, um, you know when you say there's some benefit, the plus points, the negative points as well. Mm. And just to see survey, when you're trying to get people, you said you had people, like 100,000 people. Uh, joined in. Uh, 5,000 okay, 105, okay, 105. <laughs> you know, as if you to see uh, how much did you have to really fight to convince people? Okay, I've got a lot of questions, which hopefully yeah. we'll ask after the um, uh, break as well. Um, there are a lot of negative points, there are a lot of plus points as well. Mm. But it was a hard work. It is. Where are you today it with is. this? It's a challenge. 
because um, people will always say Sade la People say that. People say uh, it's going to be noisy. So what we had to do is we had to fight to ensure if the capacity builds for this airport, during night time the benefit of India, it will go from five and a half uh, to six and a half hours at night time. That uh, respite period longer respite. will be longer respite. Longer than respite. It is now. And you can do that when you've got three runways and you're spreading it. Jerry problem pollution the not a noise the hale hundi jiri stacking hundi do you know that or at the moment just as you have the better land hona he throw the how long do you wait okay, for, the, very, for, the slot, for the slot for the slot to come slot, in yes that's very very bad for noise and it's very very bad for pollution now if we have less of that that's got to be a good thing as actually well. uh, bought the chance that so I'm really um, quite convinced with that answer because jo the flight ki to bhi andi sab duniya de vich na but then to see but the experience get on was straight on the land near on the sometimes on the Pandora wind we meant at the center around London the bar bar come up and the before you get the permission from the control tower to the slot will like it was land culture do just the house late on the name you're missing your slot the time you were supposed to be landing also the other day we delay hold on the because that's been allocated to some other free people as well the other number so suck that some of the key huh uh, so the jihaz punch change the das pandra ko mere ne and spreading more pollution at least they come in so they stay landing that that's a big help they can come in quicker and leave faster but also one of the things they're looking at is um the angle at which take off and landing happens they're going they're looking at making it 2 degrees steeper so if an airplane rises faster less people are affected by noise and if you look at the figures from back from the 1970s to now the number of people affected by noise and the airport has grown in that time far more flights but the number of people affected has gone down by 90% because the aircraft are much much quieter now than they were then okay that that i can imagine because mm. over the years the improvement has been done technology yeah, wise the jerry dreamliner aircraft uh, the a3 uh -huh. a3 it's, it's a much much better plane it's a much better plane when take off the galkar there because they take a uh, steep uh, lift up mm. and the same thing applies to the landing time when they come to land yes. they don't descend from a distance they come very close to the airport and then they put the flight down that's right why wasn't this done years ago when there was more need to bring this into uh, practice when the uh, the aircraft was noisier Achha, yeah. and and yeah. and yeah they yeah. actually program to pehla si gal karde se ke na ah okay this again oh you know airplanes they've changed a lot so salia you know 100 years since the right brothers yes first flew one of their kind of almost paper and bicycle airplanes mm -hmm. that's why things are changing so quickly now I think in a few years time it'll take a little bit of time but we will have electrically powered aeroplanes in the, in the, in, the, in the near future I know they're looking at the technology in places like Germany already and what you can do with the landing gear and what you can do with modern engines is changing and getting better but as airport no research na pana ya what do they do to make life better for people on the ground exactly and we need to keep pushing them and say keep pushing and say jere prane jahaj on a more jada tax karo you know make their landing costs higher so then you can have the better airplanes the cleaner and the quiet ones but sab to pehli gal se ki back in 2015 um independent commission se ki um howard davis uh, did an independent report howard davis report it was called and um uh, it wasn't a cheap piece of work i think it was 20 million pounds to do it mm. and he looked at heathrow he looked at gatwick he looked at boris island well, uh, he looked at the noise he looked at air quality and his independent assessment with his panel was you can build it at heathrow you can grow it you can create 70,000 local jobs 180,000 jobs and you can reduce the number of people affected by noise and you can meet all of the air quality rules now we say okay bas changi galia but it's not over yet hale planning permission we can need that a planning permission the batch by law we're saying to see you make sure uh, and, the, and all the lawyers sare bakil dekhunge you know that's right in that planning application 
no extra aircraft should be allowed to leave that air airport unless all of the EU air quality laws are met. And that was the agreement. Mm -hmm. That's what Chris Grayling, the Secretary of State, the Minister said in Parliament as well before the vote. So it can be done because the world is moving on. You know, you're, you and me are sitting here now with this. You know, 20 years ago, mum and dad would be sitting there shouting down a big telephone, <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the delay. Well, maybe send a spoke message or something, you play the drums, exactly, you know. <laughs> exactly. But we've got to make sure that the laws are used to make sure that local people are protected, that it's cleaner and it's quieter. But we've got to give them what they want. Sundapata, Kisoch there, because they tell us the closer you go to the airport, the bigger our support. In the areas around Heston, Feltham, Hay, Southall, the support is so strong. No, sorry, Mr. Uh, Jamaga. Please don't go too far. As we'll be back uh, soon. Break the bad. Please do call. Can get some help. Can you? Can you do? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So she only joined Kita. I got with me Pramjit Danda, the executive director for uh, Back Heathrow Expansion. Uh, please don't look at the other side. So she's welcome to call Kasta. Zero two zero eight five seven one four two seven nine. They open. They as she carry on. Can they? But you know, you know, talking. You had about hundred thousand people, one hundred five thousand people backing you up for the Heathrow expansion. I'm more concerned about the people living within 10 miles radius of Jithi expansion honing here. How did they feel about it, especially when they will be bulldozers? Mm -hmm. It's interesting, actually. You think that uh, those that are closest to the airport probably are the ones that oppose it the most. Uh, but there's been some independent... Exactly. Yeah, but don't look at me on this one, but the independent polling, there's a pollster called Populous, and they found that in in the 12 constituencies, parliamentary constituencies in and around Heathrow Airport, those closest constituencies, more people support the expansion than oppose it. Isn't that amazing? Mm. Uh, and there, I think part of the reason for the majority is um, so many people who live in those areas depend on the airport. They've lived close to it for very many years. Maybe some of them have got used to the noise that goes with living close to an airport. But we also find as well, when we look at our 105,000 supporters, something like 50% of them are within five miles of the airport. So that's extraordinary. But there is a, an affection to the airport for people that are close to it. Well, don't you think they'd be probably more happy to move away because of the noise and the, and the pollution and the crowd? Oh, nothing to think about the expansion, the favor, or their jobs create, or their economy built, or their. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're not thinking of that part of it. They're thinking, oh, this is the I best was, chance. I was talking to somebody who lives in Cranford. Uh, Cranford, but I and airport the lagge, right next to it. And they said, I moved here because I like to watch the airport air aircraft take off and land. A lot of people admire that. I actually. love it. Yes, it's, I love it. Is uh, what they say. Is what this what this lady said to me. I was talking to somebody, we did a meeting in Richmond the other day, and the lady said, I close to the airport, I, lo I use the airport a lot, I travel a lot, I love being close to the airport, and I like looking at the aeroplanes as well. And she also said, it used to be much noisier before than it is now, because things are changing. So maybe our attitudes are changing, and also, uh, I've lived um, next to some very, very busy roads in my life, um, and I thought nothing of it. We hear more from no road traffic all of the time than we do from aircraft traffic most of the time. But we almost take, you, that, take that as natural. Tola, can you actually tell me that mostly Kela just the area affected? You think you know you're going to demolish the the, the village or the town, mm. whatever? Yes, yes. It's very sad. I mean, some some areas, some homes are going to have to go to build this runway. Uh, 750, 700, 800 homes around that 800 figure. 800 homes. Yes, uh, around of Harmonsworth and Sipson are particularly affected. But uh, even there, you know, these people have had this doubt and certainty for decades. They haven't known what was going to happen. They've known for years there have been plans. The, the plans to expand this airport go back many, many decades. 
Uh, Tony Blair wanted to do it. Uh, he ran out of time. Gordon Brown wanted to do it. He ran out of time. Then David Cameron changed his mind and decided to have the airports commission. So for years and years and years this has gone on. And in the meantime, it's very, very hard to sell your house. If exactly. you don't know... If people Which think, way are you going to oh, go? Uh, 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 exactly. 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 So what they've agreed to do, um, mm. and nothing can substitute the memories. If you have a home that you love, nothing can take that away from you, unfortunately. It's very sad. Um, but the least the airport can do and the government can do is compensate those people properly. And the compensation, Jedi Schemia, yeah, is for um, uh, 125% of the value of their homes. Nale stamp duty domgig. On top. On top. On okay. top. For your stamp duty na mekarle. Nale removal cost fee. Nale bakil bakil the cost fee. So that's all part of the deal for those people who are affected. But you know, there's some uh, good villages, expensive. Some people have lived there for their childhood since mm. then. Kind of a very good example. Then I'm not saying I'm in the favour or I oppose that, but my mm -hmm. general question pushed up. I've been living in a very uh, comfortable um, house uh, from childhood. I cannot set a price because I would not like to move from there for whatever reason. Yeah. So how can he be happy by having 125 percent of the value of the house? Mm -hmm. But where would he move to then? Yeah. Exactly. For some people, no amount of money will no ever compensate them for their memories, for their home. So, oh. I'm not pretending it's easy, but at the same time, we get phone calls from people saying, Even people who work at the airport who lives in those homes, some of them say, uh, we want the expansion because our children want jobs. That is something compensation. They hurry up, duffer up, got there. So you've got both sides of that. And whilst we've been planning this and talking about it, then sal, b sal, jolly sal. In the next, between now and 2025, in China, they're going to build 135 new airports, not runways. Airports. 135 new civil airports between now and 2025. We're trying to build one new runway one, one, between runway. now and 2026. It's worth at a time of Brexit. Economy is, you know, is, is problematic. Uh, the economy is a huge problem. But this will create 187 billion pounds in trading opportunities for our country. At a time I think, when we need uh, it. Uh, run with expansion, which will bring uh, 70,000, 77,000 jobs on gain, 180,000 jobs across the country, and 10,000 apprentices. Economy built to a gay country, the business will boost, uh, hopefully, the property will maintain, or they will increase in the price. Oh, there's a benefit for both. But I'm trying to recollect the line, but clearly, see. Jera airport the system hai na immigration da hoya ya custom da hoya that will not change it they are not going to ease down ke to see how the dikal jo da koi fark nahi payega they going to maintain the system 100% maybe even more stricter am i right to say yes, that yes yes I mean, yeah? everyone that comes in and everyone that goes out it, it, these are strict government laws and rules they go do exactly that doesn't change but mera mera shuru ch bina i asked this question i'm asking you still mm. uh, i think everybody like yourself you you you're the one who's dating this uh, back here through expansion we are concentrating on building a runway but at the, I'm sure at the same time, we're not talking about, which I really need to know, the people need to know, okay, are we really concentrating on capacity, whether the airport can hold that, mm -hmm. whether they can maintain uh, the system, the law? Yeah. As you call that, let before you answer my call, yeah? yeah? Hello? 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 Hello, Ji, Sachi Khan, Khan, Hello, Hello, sir. Who am I speaking to? Can you hear Bobby? me? Hello, can you hear me? All right. Speaking to Bobby. Hello, Bobby. How are you? You're welcome on the show. What would you like to say? Uh, I'm all right. I just, I just wanted to know what to speak about. Mr. Pandit Danda is listening. You have got any questions for him? Go ahead. Pardon? Have you got any questions for my guest? Uh, what questions can I ask? 
we're talking about expansion about Heathrow and Mr. Danda in particular is the executive director and he's backing up the expansion. He's very much in a favor that we should have an expansion of third runway at the Heathrow. Hello? Hello, um, we just um, like depressed a little bit. I just feel sad. Um, I'm I sorry, um, well, the, the lines are very clear. Other to see you watching your TV at the same time. Uh, please, Koshi's Korea, try to call back again. I will take your call. Um, sorry, Malada interfacing, we didn't quite get it anyway. You know, when most uh, we were talking about um, the compensation had to 25 percent and all that. Mm. Uh, there are people who are quite happy to have that, and I think it's well an expectation what they expected to be given. Mm. But there are the people you cannot bring any prize. Uh, yeah. The people have been living there for like from childhood. Yeah. They, you know, how are you going to do all this? Is how yeah. far you've been into this? Now? And also. I'm, not just in that area as well. I think my, my view is, and when I, I went to Parliament to talk to MPs about this, and they asked me some very hard questions, not as hard as the ones you ask. You're, you, know, you should, you know, do their job. I'm being polite. I'm You're being, being yeah. very good, actually. Very. But um, I said because they wanted to put a red line around the air airport and say compensation and anudeni ya horkese nunideni. Well, they have to ask you tough questions because but, but, they. But but they, but uh, again, no, uh, rub out the red line. I see red line in Lania, because we want to have a wider compensation for people who are affected. So that's what they're going to do. There are other areas as well, outside of the area where the homes are being demolished, where people will be able to apply. If, ha if their home is going to be affected badly, and it wasn't affected before, they should get the same offer. So that will be several thousand oh, other Oh, this homes. is what they're trying to restrict, to put the red line there. Yeah, they wanted to, the, the, the uh, committee was saying, no, 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 just a red line around the airport. So the compensation would go to those villages, Harmsworth, Sipson, quite rightly. But as you can, they say, uh, back Heathrow, we're saying, no, we should be more people should be entitled. If it really affects them badly, then they should be able to say to Heathrow, to the government, I don't want to stay here. Uh, and should also be able to get that competition. Even if the house isn't being knocked down, then the airport should be able to buy that house and give it to someone else, sell it to somebody else if they want to live there, or rent it to airport workers, whatever. And that is going to happen. That is going to happen for some other homes as well. Because we have to be fair to everybody. Here. May I summarize this in Punjabi again? I can see a lot of Fadebi Hagene. Uh, jobs there'll be less unemployment uh, the business directly and directly connected with the airport supply various kind of uh, businesses karne uh, all other boost hoga properties bagara hopefully will uh, boost up as well uh, economy built to a country the uh, jobs built to a you know but then there's a noise uh, दूसरी गल तो सी तैयार रखियो जो एक बंदा जानदा साडा सी 10 जने सी ऑफ कर जाने मे बी दैट्स नॉट गोइंग टू हैपन इज दैट राइट मे बी नॉट या बिकॉज़ दिस इज द बिगेस्ट थिंग लोक आर यू नो एक सारे लोक के हुंदा इट्स एन आउटिंग के मेरा ताया जा रहा है मेरा बहु जा रहा है मेरा फूफी जा रही है ते चलो सारे जने तैयार हो वी गो टू गो आउट टू द एयरपोर्ट टू सी हिम ऑफ दैट्स गो टू केयरलेस वन नो आई थिंक वी नीड टू मेक इट इजीयर टू गेट द सिटी एयरपोर्ट uh, now so many more people have got bus passes than they used to have for free travel on the tube. Never used to have that before. My mum and dad both go everywhere these days on public transport because it's free now for pensioners. Mm -hmm. So let's make it easier to get to the airport on the Piccadilly line. Improve the Piccadilly line. That's part of this program. To jump on Crossrail, the Jubilee line, the Nami line on here. Be able to use that so we get less people going there in their cars, but being able to go, and if you're a pensioner, to be able to go there for free. Jono, let's talk now, because we talked about the benefit and, and, and noise and other bits and pieces. What's your next step? What's your for? What's your planning now? Well, it's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of councils, I should say, not councillors. Councils, they are Hillingdon. They are Richmond. They are Maidenhead, uh, Wandsworth Council, Nare Didi Hammersmithy Council, or can they are Nigal Bandi Jaidi, see legally challenged Karnia, court the bench, 
uh, to block this project or to slow it down. But if this will go step by step, mm. they are, these boroughs are much further than the other boroughs around the airport. Well, Hillingdon Why? isn't. Hillingdon is, is, is on okay, the airport. Okay, but so. still nearer than mm. uh, Maidenhead and, and uh, you know, Hammersmith Brenner. How do you give another excuse? What's their position? Good question. <laughs> Good question. It's, we live in a democracy. Everybody's got a right. Uh, anybody in this country, individuals, there are a few individuals that are saying they want to take this to court as well. So they've got until I think it's about August the 8th, something like that, to put in their legal challenges. And then the, the court will listen to them. It's very, very uh, clear and process properly follow Kitia. No? Um, and they're going to try to challenge the process and say, to see Jai Janani Kitti, Taka Ki, Galbad Karlo. So we've got that which will happen. Uh, and that's between the government and those councils. The, the, the government will be challenged by these individuals and these councils. And the Mayor of London as well. The Mayor of London is saying. Do you have any say in that? No, no. It's purely between, it'll be in the courts. Where I did have a say <laughs> You've done in that. my previous life, oh. um, taking the law through Parliament, we set up this long and difficult process we call the National Planning Statement, which involves parliamentary scrutiny, MP the interviews and uh, parliamentary vote, uh, national consultation. It's taken years to get to this stage. So I'm very confident in the process. Sub to soft process here, not a jetty sorry box ticket and this again ticket there. So between now and about Easter, uh, I'm confident that the courts will say sub course, Bergal Tikia, but people will challenge it legally. But this is their right. This is right. This is a right in great. This is very interesting because you have put so much hard work into this, including with the 105,000 people as well since the last five, six years. and. To see, you know, giving your time in your... And Parliament has spoken as well. Uh, mm. who, the, the, the things going into the hands of the Parliament and, and, the, and the people who are opposing against mm. it, the councils. And you're going to just sit there and wait here what decision is made? Well, we're not sitting there and waiting because what really upsets me is, let's say, if you live in Hillingdon, uh, well, any of these boroughs, they've already spent one million pounds, your money as a taxpayer, council tax, giving it to lawyers when they could be spending it on... I don't know, children's services or social care, the quality of cleaning the streets. They've been spending it on lawyers fighting a legal battle against the biggest biggest employer in West London. Oh, but then again, yeah. I'm sure they must have good reason to, to fight against the, the parliament and say the, give them the reasons for opposing it. Well, for the reasons we've discussed. The reasons we've discussed, and uh, I think we've had a very good conversation about you know, about air quality, about noise, and the need for progress. But some people will always say, no, if I can stop this process, I'll use your money and I'll try to stop it. Now, a good example is last year we had, um, in Hillingdon, we put in some questions, freedom of information requests, saying, how much this year have you spent on lawyers' fees? They'd spent £215,000 closing children's centres in places, you know, like West Rayton. In, in, in Hayes, same year they sp spent £215,000 giving it to a law firm fighting the, against the expansion of Heathrow Airport, the borough's biggest employer, and set to be an even bigger employer if we get expansion. So this is, this is the current battle that we're up against, and we know our people, our supporters are saying all the time, they're saying it in the media, they're saying it to their local politicians, to their councillors, to their council leaders, why are you spending our money on something we don't even support in terms of this legal challenge? But this is a democracy. And the the other thing, you say okay, hopefully uh, it should be done by next Easter. I think so. And, and uh, in the meantime, uh, basically there will be sort of plan about what you're trying to do. To it won't stop us. It, it won't stop us. We carry on. You carry on. We carry on. The airport will carry on. The airport are going to have their own consultation. They're going to start. They're preparing the work on that now because it's important that local people see the plans, alter the plans, change the plans, uh, how they best look for you know, the local community in terms of community facilities, how uh, you know, the cycle paths, all of these things should be. 
so that consultation will begin hopefully I'll, in the new year. Dr. Puchnaki, how positive are you? But then you have answered my question indirectly. If you want to execute your plan, you're already planning it ahead hmm. before, before the announcement happens in, in, by Easter. So even it goes in a favor for yourself, doesn't it? In a way that you're pretty well ahead of your planning and it's in front of the parliament and you're not just sitting on the back and waiting things to happen. No, you can't. You can't. You know in this country there are always going to be lawyers who are happy to take your money <laughs> and not just in this country, in every country. In every country, It obviously. happens. It happens oh. in India, it happens in Pakistan, it happens everywhere. There are. But we live in a democracy. There are processes you have to go through. And even then, after that, consult karke fair plan liknea. And fair planning application honia. Uh, next year, you know, before the end of 2019, I'm, I'm confident that the plans will be there in detail. Dear uh, Atoli, now you're going to concentrate on planning us, right? But you get to see supporters, can they see that that is all done and dusted? No, 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 no. Supporters, supporters are important. Uh, supporters will have their say to their councils. It's still what I think, and we want our supporters and even people who aren't our supporters now to get involved, discuss look at the consultation and get let's get the best possible plans for the local community let's get a plan that serves us that creates the jobs but also protects us from noise there's going to be independent commission on noise independent group that's going to be set up let's have good people on there uh, advising and let's have uh, good work done to make sure that the area and the air quality is the best that we can possibly imagine as well. So there's a lot of work to be done and we want one, local communities to be involved One in thing that. I can actually definitely on behalf of our channel team and, and our community. Um, your we, job of scrutiny here is brilliant as well. No, one thing is good, one thing I would in your favour to be very honest. I'm always, always proud and honoured to have a people like yourself as a guest. Uh, you've got such a big responsibility. Uh, being uh, from the Sikh community and Sardar Sadar being executive director for the expansion of Heathrow, um, how do you feel about it? Because to see the Sikh community, you know, to see Sari nation, you represent know, and people look up to you. I told you that many, many mummy that daddy at TIS again in the 1960s um, to work in the local factories, in dad's case. Mum's case or cleaners again in Hillingdon Hospital. I remember you mentioned that last time. The, yes. the hospital I was born in. Oh my God! Uh, and then cleaner in 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 Ealing Hospital. They worked very hard all their life. Nyane and Upale, I'm the youngest of three. At there we all grew up and went to the local schools. They've done very well. The air is in our lungs. <laughs> now to be able to come back and do this job, to be able to do programs like this, study community lead, and to listen to you and to talk to them. I know my Punjabi is uh, a little bit broken these days. All no, those years no, I spent, no. you know, uh, um, away doing other jobs in places like Gloucester and things. But to be able to come back and, and to go into the Gurdwaras, to speak and to listen to people about their ambitions, about what they want for their children and the better life that they want than my parents had when they came in the 1960s. The privilege is all mine. The pleasure is all mine. And to be able to come on programs like this and talk about it, I'm a lucky person and my job now is to make these opportunities happen. I'm glad we talked to you at the end about your personal life because it would not have made so much sense had I asked you these questions earlier on when we started the program. Do you have a family life? I have a wonderful family life. Uh -huh. uh, great parents, great a brother, a sister, nephew, nieces, a wife and two lovely children of my own. Yeah, we're very lucky. And what do you do? What's your hobbies like? What do you really do in your, if you have a free time? That is. <laughs> well, look, um, up and up and they all, we all love cricket. So watching we, it, we, we, we're playing we're it. Watching <laughs> it. So the kids are mad about supporting India against England at cricket. Oh my God. But until India have a decent football team, it's all about supporting England and Liverpool. Liverpool. Uh, football is their big passions in life. So. Well, uh, important. Dekho, kinda important kam karene. It's such a big responsibility being executive director for the back here through expansion. The and he's got a family life. Bachche uh, hagene, parents hagene, gurdwara ande jande ne hobbies hagi. I'm sure you should travel we can do. We do. Looking forward to a holiday. Really? Need a holiday after the last few months. I can, I can imagine. Yeah. But you know, Bachche uh, wanga ke please to see na. I take you as a role model uh, for people to admire 
कि आपको एक सिख यंग गाय इज हैडिंग दिस प्रोजेक्ट विच इज द बिगेस्ट वर्ल्ड दे टॉक हो रहा है नॉट ओनली लोकली इट्स इट्स इकोनॉमी बिल्ट होगी कंट्री दी एंड द बिजनेस मैन रॉन्ड द वर्ल्ड वन टू वन टू इन्वेस्ट एज वेल एंड तुसी की एडवाइस दो मुझे द यंग्स इज वाचिंग द प्रोग्राम यू नो व्हाट वुड यू लाइक आउट ऑफ देम आई होप पीपल आर वाचिंग दिस आर होम एंड जस्ट थिंक लुक चेंज इज डिफिकल्ट वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट सम ऑफ द चैलेंजेस यू कांट मेक एनी डिसीजंस इन लाइफ without sometimes breaking a few eggshells but if you know the end picture is a beautiful one and it makes a difference and will make things better for people yeah, get involved very do much it. said do it it's like walking through the tunnel and you know there's a light on the other side and you're going to go there well hopefully we all will <laughs> with, with with better opportunities in the future that's all we want that's all we can want for our children बहुत अच्छा आई एम सो ग्लैड वेरी वेरी हैप्पी प्लीज चलो सर लास्ट कॉल आई सेम सॉरी वी आई वाज नॉट वेरी क्लियर सवाल आई एम नॉट आई डोंट नो व्हाट यू वांट टू आस्क जरा थोड़ा सा सवाल पूछना है ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੋਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਫੇਵਰ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਾਲ ਕਰਕੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਲ ਪੁੱਛ ਸਕਦੇ ਹੋ ਐਨੀਵੇ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਗੋ ਮਚ ਟਾਈਮ ਤੇ ਪਜੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਉਹਦੀ ਚਾਈਨੀਜ਼ ਦੀ ਗੱਲ ਕੀਤੀ ਤੇ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਹੈ 36 ਏਅਰਪੋਰਟਸ ਨੋ ਦ ਰਨਵੇਜ਼ ਵੇ ਆਰ ਦੇ ਬਿਲਡਿੰਗ ਦਿਸ ਏਅਰਪੋਰਟਸ ਰਨ ਵਿਦ ਇਨ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਵਿਜ਼ ਇਨ ਵਰਲਡ ਵਾਈਡ 올 ਓਵਰ ਚਾਈਨਾ 올 ਓਵਰ ਚਾਈਨਾ 올 ਓਵਰ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਚਾਈਨਾ ਇਜ਼ ਗਰੋਇੰਗ ਵੀ ਸ਼ੁਡਨਟ ਡੂ ਇਟ ਦ ਵੇ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਇਟ ਵੀ ਟਾਕਡ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਦ 7 800 ਹੋਮਸ ਥੈਟ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਡਿਮੋਲਿਸ਼ਡ ਫੋਰ ਹੀ ਥਰੋ ਐਂਡ ਦ ਕੰਪਨਸੇਸ਼ਨ I think over there they take a very different attitude and they just knock homes down <laughs> and they just do it. I'm not saying we should do it their way. We do it the British way which is about consultation. It's about planning applications. It's about people disagreeing. It's about petitions. It's about changing our minds and looking at things again. But sometimes also in life you have to say now we have to get on and do something. And the big moment for us with this project was when parliament कोई गवर्नमेंट है नहीं एट द मोमेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ द मेजॉरिटी स्टॉप कर ना पेगा वी डोंट गेट आउट टाइम इन द एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग एंड टेक योर टाइम आई रियली अप्रिशिएट दैट देयर माइट बी अ नीड फॉर यू टू कम बैक अगेन एंड एंड टॉक अबाउट इट अगेन ऑलवेज हैप्पी टू कम व्हेन वी हैव मोर फाइनलाइज्ड थिंग्स प्लीज ऐसी तरह तो सी काल चलना देखते रहो होपफुली मैं अदर दे गेस्ट होला क्या मांगा नेक्स्ट वी फेम मुलाकात होगी वाजु का खालसा वाजु की फतेह बोले ਵਾਜੂ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਮਾਨਸ ਪਾਲ ਜਾਲੇ ਤੋਲੇ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦਾ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਕਰਦੇ ਦਲੇ ਚੋ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਦੀ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਯੂ نو ਆਮ ਸੋ ਐਕਸਾਈਟਿਡ ਆਮ ਸ਼ੋਰ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਵੀ ਵੇਟ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੋਗੇ ਕਿ ਕਿਹੜਾ ਗੈਸਟ ਅੱਜ ਲੈ ਕੇ ਆਵਾਂਗਾ ਮੈਂ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਹੋਨੈਸਟ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਮੇਰੇ ਗੈਸਟ ਬੜੇ ਇੰਟਲੈਕਚੁਅਲ ਗੈਸਟ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਨੇ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨਲ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਟਿਵ ਕੁਛ ਨਾ ਕੁਛ ਕਿਸੇ ਆਪਣੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਦਾ ਫਾਇਦਾ ਹੋ ਸਕੇ ਜਾਂ ਕੋਈ ਇਨਫੋਰਮੇਸ਼ਨ ਤੁਹਾਨੂੰ ਪਾਸ ਕਰਦੇ ਆ ਲਾਸਟ ਟਾਈਮ ਮੇਰੇ ਪਾਸ ਸੀਗੇ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਰਣਜੀਤ ਸਿੰਘ ਜਿਹਨੂੰ